What's up guys? Welcome back to Deco Crete TV. My name's Jeff and today we're going to be showing you guys how to apply a scratch coat on a vertical wall. Now we're going to be using this scratch coat as a base for hand carved vertical concrete. Although this could be the same if you were hanging culture stone or pretty much anything else that you need a scratch coat for. So stay tuned because you're going to learn all about it. So you can see we've got our, our tar paper up. This is this was started out as plywood under here. Uh, we put tar paper up and then we uh, put up our spider lath. So you can see that we ended up using staples for this. And, and again, Spider Lath recommends staples that are a minimum of three quarter inch crown and that'll be able to actually penetrate into our substrate, in this case, plywood, um, also a three quarter inch. So uh, they also recommend, you know, eight inch on center, hit all these strips and just make sure you actually staple through these strips here. Now, when it comes to actually putting this stuff up, it, it's really kind of a two person job because the important thing is this stuff gets stretched pretty tight, like you can see it is here. You know, if this had a lot of, of crinkles or, or folds in it, it's really gonna be hard to apply our scratch coat um, evenly. You can see even right there, you know, uh, that's got a little bit of a bubble in it, but we'll be able to deal with that. But it's just important that this stuff stays nice and tight. So to start things off, uh, to mix our scratch coat up, the first thing we're gonna need is a mixer. And this needs to be something pretty heavy duty, kind of like you see this one here from Color Mix. One of these uh, would, to me, kind of be the minimum that we would need. Um, above and beyond, one of those AOX auto mixers. Man, if I'm doing a big area, um, we're using that every time. Now, as far as the rest of the tools, um, you know, something like this, this little uh, bucket scoop actually works great uh, to get the material from our bucket and onto our trowel and apply it on the wall. Um, certainly, if we wanted to, we could use a mortar sprayer and spray this um, and then just trowel it and run over it in that way. Now, I could use a notch trowel if I want to. You know, I can smooth it with this side and I can um, use this side with the teeth on it to actually make my fingers. Although my preferred method is just to put it up with um, just a normal finished trowel. Square edge always works best for me because I can get into corners and it's nice to have a round trowel on hand just in case you need it. But honestly, really normal finished trowel just like this and then one of these scarifiers. And what this allows me to do is now I can put my mix up as thick as I want it to be and I can create the, the fingers just based on how thick my material is. You know, if I use this notch trowel, I'm kind of bound to uh, whatever size fingers they give me on this trowel. And in this case, we're putting some pretty thick vertical concrete on this, on this area. And we really, the, the thicker we go with our carving material, we need to make bigger fingers in our scratch coat so, it, so it's got a, a better bond. And so I really like these. And um, other than that, I'm ready. This should be all I need. And I'm gonna go ahead and get mixed up and start applying. So to make our scratch coat, you know, we, we got a variety of options of materials we could use. Uh, but man, a real nice thing is this Type S mortar here. And I got my water um, in my tub. I'm gonna add my bag of Type S mortar. And then, you know, I'm also gonna just give it a scoop of Portland cement and that'll just beef up the strength a little bit. Again, most people probably wouldn't do that, but you know, we love uh, just mixing stuff together. I also love these eight inch extra long margin trials from Bond Tools because I got a big pail here and man, the scraping the sides, this gets me all the way down in there and I'm not having to, uh, you know, I can get all the way to the bottom, even on a large container. Now I'm gonna add in my Portland cement. And again, I don't have an exact ratio for this, but I'm just gonna do one of these quart containers per 80 pound bag. We're gonna do one scoop of white cement. Now, honestly, uh, man, that consistency looks pretty good to me. Um, you know, again, this is going on a vertical surface. So, you know, we kind of need this stuff to hang a little bit. And the idea is that we can kind of grab it and it's just kind of hanging on our hand there. You know, if this was too tight, uh, it's just not gonna wanna uh, actually stick to my hand. It's gonna wanna fall off. If it was too loose, it's just gonna wanna run. And so this uh, seems to be pretty much right on to me. Now it's a warm day out. I'm by myself here. So halfway through, if this is starting to tighten up on me, well, I'm just gonna add a little bit more water, remix it, and I'll, I'll be good to go. Well, guys, that's pretty much it. We got our scratch coat up here. I just gotta finish a little bit around the edges and we're ready to go on to our next step. Uh, thanks for watching this week. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments right below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.